Oh, Congo people don't find gold mountain for their place. What an amazing thing. But are blacks born to serve the white? Actually, as one of my sons told me, stay tuned. Let's discuss together. <music> there for Biravo village for Congo go there for North Bukavu inside capital city of Kevo province go there for Congo mm? they don't find one mountain where they there now so so good night full up 60 to 90 percent of good now waiting there for the mountain the villagers we don't find out the thing can they dig uh, the gold they dig them, they carry go house. They dig houses on Tuesday, they carry the go house. But now the government don't send police people, don't send army, don't send all the security personnel where they say, you know, our Africa where they send all those forces go now. We have peace, they know where they really need them. So they shall go carry them and then go there, then go there. The Congo guide the place. Say make them still go. Say the villagers where still carry the gold. Where the business they don't carry the gold. Go house. Make the police people and the soldiers make they go house to house. Go they collect back the gold. Come come give the government. Say you know good where be say the gold where they for the country. Say you know good say make personal people until they enrich themselves. Say make them bring them out where they can't give government but my my people i want to tell you say if you do research about about congo people you go find out say congo people get this good for a very long time and the gov and the day on um under the authority of the government since yet congo people now them still be the second poorest country in the whole wide world no worry i go put the video make you make you watch now, them still be the poorest people waiting for this world, second poorest waiting for this, the world, yet, yet, they get gold, they get oil, they get so many natural resources. But wait, so, Africans, waiting do us, waiting God not take bless us, are we really born to serve the whites? Africans, are we really born to start? You know, one of my sons once told me that they taught them in school that milk and coffee, which one is better? They were like, um, milk. They now said, yes, that milk, that white, that blacks are born to serve the white. Same way coffee and milk, as in that blacks are born to serve the white. And that was, that was what their teacher taught them in this Western world. Is that now you know inside your heart you say God forbid is not true, but when you see some things that are going on, you will you you will you will agree with me that we all in the same way you say in your heart that this is not true, we all need to wake up. We all need to wake up. Yeah, we are blessed with natural resources, both natural resources and human resources. But yet we are oh my god oh my god oh my god we as in we suffer we let me just go on because each time i remember the blessing god has bestowed on us and how we are suffering i normally feel bad about it i don't know if you feel bad too i don't feel bad about it these people are supposed to worship worship us yes but you go to their country you are as in you let me just let me just let me just reserve my anger you go to their country they they, they, they treat you inferior you, they come to your country you treat them superior you treat them the same way like why you treat your god though i don't know but now they don't carry police soldier they reach, they reach, they can't go there make you go to self-guide the the gold Eh? Make it go the same guide the good. Make it still go house to house. Go collect the good. Make all this um the indigenous people don't gather. You see? Small time now before you know. You go see say um the western world. 
the Western world, maybe maybe it might be France, it might they will come. If they come again, even if the peace so there for that country, for that Congo now, be like 10%, 10 percent, ten over hundred. If if they come, they will go settle the the nicest leader so we we'll get for Africa. They'll go settle the president of that place now. When they go settle one, you go see. These people will remain in poverty. Africans, we keep we keep fighting and killing ourselves for what will satisfy us now. Not thinking about the future. And this thing is killing us and is still killing us. And that is the problem our leaders are having. Eh? Somebody, what the white men are doing to Africans is so painful. You see, they will come. Look at Nigeria as a case study. Look at what is happening in Cameroon. Look at what is happening all over Africa. They will come. Okay, you are worth five billion. White men will take some greedy ones out of you. Bribe them with one million. Even that one million that they give you, they will still collect it back. Bribe them with one million. You take it, send your kids to abroad. Does that change the identity of your children? Does that change their skin? Does that change the way they will still be maltreating them there because of their color? It doesn't change anything. Now, your kids, your generation are still suffering. Your kids are abroad schooling. You fall sick in your hometown, you fly abroad. If people fly, come your country, you go die. You will see that very soon. You, the government has asked the, they don't already tell, so that they listen to news. And then they hear when the poor masses, they, they complain of hunger, sees, they complain of no water, no anything. Eh? The poor masses go to complain of no water, no anything, no go here. But anyway, one change the poor masses' life, you go see them. Now, they don't find, they don't carry police, um, military, all those ones. With their salary, no even feed, feed their family comfortably. You don't carry them. Oh yeah, make them go to kill yourself. Before you know it, white people go come pull hands. Tell them this one I'll give you five naira. Government that doesn't even know the, the worth of life of each citizen. Before you know it, they will tell the soldiers, kill anybody you see at that site. Maybe you are watching this video now and you're saying, Yeah, they are not supposed to go there and dig the, the, the gold. You are saying that because you are in a comfortable place. And beside, that thing that they saw on the land is their natural inheritance. Yeah. It's their natural inheritance. In a state or in a, go in, in a country where the government are doing well. Are do I mean, Africans are supposed to be living like kings and queens. The western world that we are running to, what do they have? They use our resources out of our foolishness and we serve them on top of it. You might be saying you are in Western world, you are not serving them, blah, blah, blah. If your country should be a better place, the noises you are talking from these people, will you be taking it? You will tell me, ah, they are not discriminating me, they are not doing this thing. You lie, search your hearts. Search your heart. But what amazes me most is that our leaders will travel out and come back. When they travel out, they see the good road, they see water, they see light, they see light, they see everything functioning fine. But when they come home, that devil in them will still make them not to do the right thing. It's time we wake up and stop feeding for now. And fit for the future. God made us king and queens. I was telling my husband one day, I was like, I don't know if actually, if actually, um, the uh, maybe maybe Adam and Eve, maybe they were Africa. I was like thinking, then the devil used stylishly the devil in form of snake. Came, deceived them, took the glory, took the glory, 
and they are still suffering for it. The generation are still suffering for it. You see, the same way the whites are still taking the glory, and we turn back to be looking at them as they are superior to us. You, you, I, you, you can't even tell what the kids suffer at school. You're with the whites. That mentality, the whites and their children already have it that they are superior to any black being they see. In your kids' school, sit them down when they talk to them. Ask them about what they are passing through in their school. You as a person in your workplace, and you, even a white person might even, okay, you might be in a city room or anywhere with a white person and something is find missing. Inside you did not do it. But guess what? All the white people there will be suspecting that you, the black person, are the one that do it. But when they see a black being, they associate you with poverty. They never in their history teach their children or anything that these people are rich. They will never, they will only tell them that you are poor and you're feeding on them. Is it not time I and you change our mentality? Yeah, because we need to change it. We may be complaining our leader, our leader, our leader. But to, if we don't change our mentality, I will become the leader tomorrow. Will that make any difference? It won't. We'll continue lying down on the floor for these people to work on us. You will see very soon, they will start cleaning themselves. The same way is happening in Nigeria. Britain wants all year. They want to be the Western world. The Britain and Erishi Rishi, they want to be extracting the oil. They pay for quarter. They take more than two. They just want to be doing it. You be killing yourself. It doesn't matter. You know that time that this end process when it happen for Nigeria. I watched an interview. The white man actually said that that thing that is happening in Nigeria is a total madness that it will lead them to nowhere. And guess what? When they were tired of our madness of protesting, they looked for it. When Britain came and said, give them food, they are hungry. And actually they set the trap, we fell to it and we are still where we are. So it's right time we stand up. Oh my god, the video. Watch it now. Thank you. watching guys thank you so much god bless you for watching stay tuned always come back please subscribe to our channel if you don't mind share like thank you so much god bless you please let's change our mindset let's change our mindset in case if we are up there tomorrow we should make the difference maybe we made a difference we don't to suffer we are born kings and queens. Let's make the difference. Bye.